Welcome everyone, this is Jimmy's Corner and I'm your host, Jimmy. This channel is all about how-to videos on things that should be easy but are sometimes hard. If you guys have any suggestions, make sure you leave a comment down below and subscribe to my channel. Let's go have some fun. And always remember, the world is yours. It's yours. Hey guys, so today we're going to learn how to read a comic book. So let's get into it. First, pick up an issue of something you like. Go to your local comic book store or Barnes and Nobles and pick one up. There's one that I have. Batman issue 40. So this is written by Snyder and drawn by Capullo. Capullo. Sorry if I'm saying your name wrong. So to read a comic book, you want to start off with one thing. The cover. The cover is there. It's not where a book, you don't judge a book by its cover. Comic books, they want you to judge it by its cover. See this cover? It grasps you, pulls you in. It's like, wow, Batman slaying a dragon? What is going on? But is that supposed to be the Joker? Hmm, what's going on? So first things first, comic book draws you in. In the front of the comic book. In the back of comic books, they're usually all advertisements, so you never really have to worry about this back page. It's really always the front. Things to know. These main people right here. What are their names? Good to keep this in mind because you might love their work and might want to go read more of their work. Or maybe you love this artist and you want to go, you know, get more from that artist. Or even, like, the colors. Like, who colored this in? Maybe you want to go, like, find their work. So you definitely want to know the names. And it's important to know. It's easier to bring up in conversation or talk about when you go to Comic-Con, to know the who's who. Then you want to open the comic book. Very nicely, very gently. Don't want to crease or fold any of the pages. The more pristine it is, the more uh, it could be worth something someday. So you have the first page, and the way you read a comic book, you start from the top left-hand side, and you work your way down, kind of like zigzagging down, depending on where the wording is. So. If wording is here, you go here, here, and then zig here, then zig here, then zig, zig, zag, zig, zig. It's not reading like one half of the page and then going to the other half. It's reading them as they kind of fall in order. You can no always notice like one sentence is slightly above another one. So that's the one you would go to next, not following the same page. And you want to gently flip that page. And you always want to make sure you're taking in all that artwork in detail. Let's check this out. So look at all the artwork and detail on this page. And a few things that can help you out. So over here you have the main description. You have the writer, the penciler, the guy who drew it, the inker, the colorist, the letters, the cover, the different types of covers, the assistant editor, editor, and who created Batman. So that's this main box of information. Also it gives you the title and what part is it in the series. So as you noted in the front, it's issue 40. So that means you're kind of ways off, but that doesn't mean you can't jump in and see what's going on. This can be a perfect opening point. You just might be a little confused on what's all this chaos, but still can read and get caught up into the action with one issue. That'll most likely make you go back and get the rest of them. So you start on one page, you start on the left side and you're going from top, zigging across all that information, read it all in, Sometimes you can read a panel, which it would be one box. This is like one panel. Or you can read the whole page. And then look at the imaging. So you, you could read inside this panel, read the wording, and then get into this imaging to see what's going on. Or you could read all the wording and then go into imaging. There's so much detail, so many little secret Easter eggs that could be hidden in each image. You really want to dive into every part of it to really see what's going on and maybe catch something. Maybe if you're a Batman fan, you might see some uh, Easter egg correlating to maybe the movie or something. In comic books, they always have to put up advertisement. That's one of the biggest ways they pay for it. So there'll always be a few pages in the book, like this one on the right, that'll just have some information, discount codes, something to advertise. This one's advertising more comic books or anything in general. And then you have here the last page of the comic book. Again, you're starting from the top. Zig, zag, zig, zig, zag, zag, zig, zig, zag, zig, zig, zag. 
And that is how you would read a comic book. Grasping in all the information from the writing and the drawing. Hope you guys liked that video. If you did, give it a big thumbs up. Be sure to subscribe. And I'll see you next time here at Jimmy's Corner. Peace.